right, so we have new Q drops. Q drop today at 1.58 p.m. And uh, I'm on the West Coast, so and I'm over here on QMap.com. So this is drop 37.54. And uh, the people at QMap.pub are the ones who put the, the title heading on the drops, so that's not Q's title heading. Just want to make that clear. Obama's corrupt book deal with Pearson Publishing. But they are great because they make, uh, they give like kind of a, a summary of what the drop's about. Q reposts an older drop. Imagine what would happen if by law every U.S. congressman, woman, U.S. senator, president, etc. was by law, uh, by U.S. law, audited every one to two years by an independent agency. Imagine what would happen if those audits extended to all family members of such elected officials. Uh, official. Would D's continue to push for foreign aid to other C's versus the homeland? So would Democrats push uh, continue to push for foreign aid to other countries versus the homeland. What happens when the kickbacks dry up? Maxine Waters, four million dollar house. Nancy Pelosi, net worth 150 million plus. Joe Biden, son slash brother, net worth tens of millions. Clinton family, 200 million plus. And in parentheses, pre-election of. Bill Clinton, less than 1 million. Obama family, 40 million plus. In parentheses, pre-election, less than 1 million. Disguised under book deals. Those who take are offered more powerful positions within the party. And in parentheses, controlled. Drain the swamp. Q. So that was the old post. We have a link to a Twitter status of Michael Cowdery. Let's check that out. Michael Cowdery says, Obama gave Pearson Publishing a government contract worth $350 million for their work to create the Common Core text for his administration's ed- education initiative. A subsidiary of that same publisher gave Obama roughly $65 million dollars for his book deal after he left office. Boom. So Q's referencing his old drop where he had said, disguised under book deals, all this money that they make. So underneath the link, Q says, U.S. taxpayer, uh, federal government, federal government, in kill brackets, bold, all caps, Hussein, to Pearson Publishing. Pearson Publishing, then gives back to Hussein. Biden, (laughs) all caps, follow the money, corruption, Q. And we have one more post right now. It's 37.55. This one came in at 2.18.54 seconds. We have another Twitter status here, and it says under it, do you believe in coincidences? We have a a post from Hive, H-Y-V-E, Seven it says resignation hashtag QAnon and he dropped he linked a uh, article from Market Watch Pearson CEO to retire and company will sell remaining Penguin Random House steak. Pearson PLC said Wednesday that Chief Executive John Fallon plans to retire next year and that it has agreed to sell its remaining 25% stake in Penguin Random House to Bertelsmann S.E. and Company KGAA for $675 million. The London-based education publisher said Fallon will retire in 2020 once a successor has been appointed. The company will consider both external and internal candidates as part of a succession process, it said. Pearson said the sell of its remaining stake in Penguin Random House to its partner is in line with the company's simplification strategy and follows the disposal of a 22% interest in the joint venture two years ago. 
The deal, which remains subject to regulator, uh, regulatory consent and is expected to close in the first half of 2020, gives Penguin Random House an enterprise value of $3.67 billion, Pearson said. And those are the Q posts as of now. Thanks for watching. This is Jason B. Signing out.